What's up, everyone? I'm just getting started. I'm getting the links out, and then we'll get on with the show. I got a banger for you guys today. So let me get this one last link out and we're good to go. And if you want to join the actual Google Meet conference call, uh, it's in the chat box. If you have any questions, that's where you can really ask questions in a little bit more of a personal fashion. Um, so you could just hit the link and I will admit you. All right. All right. All right. Let's get it going. All right, let's get it going. All right, I got the locked in water today to keep me hydrated. This is going to be a good call. Should be about an hour long. I try to keep them uh, within that hour, you know, short, sweet, to the point. All right, that's good stuff. What's up, everybody? Art Turner, Data Productions Media. Dreams are tangible aspirations where I scheme our dreams into existence. It's going to be a banger today, y'all. Happy to have you guys here. There's a lot of great things happening with the company Locked In, LTNC. As we know on Twitter, another uh, PR came out. They got access uh, for a ver verified profile um, where they actually updated that we're a holding company now. We have uh, beverages under Next Gen Beverages. Before that, we were still Labor Smart Inc., uh, with like all the labor uh, information and whatnot. So that's one step forward into where we wanna go to being tradable. Now this uh, presentation today, this live stream today is not really gonna be about, you know, the trading aspect of where LTNC is gonna be going, all right? You know, what I like to focus on is the symbolism and the stories that are being uh, portrayed 
within this. All right. And this has been happening for the last three years since 2021. I have been covering it. Um, the esoteric side, you know, the side that not a lot of people talk about. So I'm excited for this one today. I think it's going to be a really good presentation for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just go into the link in the description, uh, go into the chat box and, you know, let me know what your thoughts are as I go along. But there's just some really profound things. All right. Uh, so just from disclaimers, I am not a financial advisor. All risk uh, investing and trading risk you take on your own. This co these conference calls are just for education and entertainment purposes only. Any information discussed to be used is at the discretion of the inv individual and not uh, Data Productions Media Capital Investments. Uh, data Productions Media Capital Investments has zero liabilities in any outcomes from anyone using uh, information discussed on these conference calls. And I like to go back to the very first decode. I updated it for 2024. This is how powerful um, and energetic these conference calls have been at the end of the month. So for the very first powerful 333, I have Data Productions Media, Capital Investments, which is my, my company name, my social media names, monthly YouTube live stream stock presentation equals 333 in reduction. So that's how we're starting off 2024. All right, so now let's get into the meeting outline. This is the 11th uh conference call i've done at the end of the month all right we're going up on the year it's been valuable for myself and others so just as the outline uh for the presentation really the first part is going to be all ltnc locked in symbolism and stories so first we're going to start with expanding empire ltnc locked in to southeast asia that's really going to be profound when i get into it the philippine american war of 1899 we're going to talk about the Society of Jesus, Coca-Cola, Southeast Pacific influence. We're going to talk about the significance of 13 for LTNC in America. Then we're going to talk about Lockheed's date with destiny. Then after that, of course, I have to talk about my dividend portfolio. So we're going to go over that overview. The top two performers, the bottom two performers, some honorable mentions. And then I do have a stock I just now uh, bought into uh, for 2024. That's a dividend. BNG Foods, BGS. And we're talking about canned food consumption during the 2024 recession. And at the end, if anybody has any questions, just let me know and uh, we can go over those. Um, so without further ado, let's get started and hope you guys are ready. So first, expanding empire, LTNC locked in to Southeast Asia. Now, I read a lot. And so this idea came to me um, from reading this book. All right. It's called Expanding Empire, the global war drive a big business and that the forces that will stop it. All right. One of the key phrases that I got from this book is the flag follows the dollar. We understand in this world we live in money makes the world go round. A lot of the wars, actually, most of the world wars in history have been based off you know, business, money making, how can we expand uh, our territories to make more money for our, our country? You know, Rome did it, British, uh, Britain did it, France did it, Spain did it, um, America's no different. So you wanna make sure if you can find this book, it's kind of rare, but it was a great find. And I, I, I found a lot of stuff from it. And so uh, locked in is no different, all right? And we're gonna get into it. And so first, we understand that Manny Pacquiao is our biggest endorser. He's on the board now. His team is a part of the marketing. His team's doing the marketing for, for our brand now. And we had news come came out earlier this month in January of Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather fight announced for 2024. One of the biggest fights in boxing history. Could see a meet rematch. And now... What people don't realize is Manny Pacquiao is under the rising, uh, under the rising promotion that's out of Japan. He signed with uh, the Japanese promotion in 2022, emphasis on 22, but failed to make it of any appearances in 2023. Now I feel like that could be by design. You know why? Because Pluto will be in Aquarius 
from Janu January 20th, 2024, which we are already in through September 1st, 2024. Then in November 2000, uh, 2024 through March 2043, we will be fully submersed into the age of Aquarius. Uh, if you know a little bit about astrology and the zodiac, the Aquarius sign is considered the water bearer. And so the energies are aligning for a company like like locked in to come in and succeed as the energies of the uh, of the world allow it. And so I want to make a couple quick notes. Think about the locked in design, red, white, and blue, all American flag brand, right? What is that? What about uh, the Philippines flag? Red, red, white, blue, a little bit of gold as well. And then you have Japan with red and white in their flags. So in a lot of senses, our colors, our flag colors to our brand colors are very cohesive. And when we go back to the book, Expanding Empire, in, you know, to, in, in, at the early uh, 1900s, America took over the Philippines. And why was that? You know, we annexed them. And part of it was, I believe, to get to the corridor, the Southeast Asian corridor, which is guarded by Japan, the Philippines, and Taiwan before you get into China. And militarily speaking, that was a very uh, a key pivotal moment in gaining control in the South Pacific to uh, you know come back China for, for anything along those lines. And if you don't know what a corridor is, it's usually a small passageway or a route. Here's a definition of it right here. And so let's so for some gematria. Japan, the Philippines, and Taiwan have always been the key to expansion in Asia markets, in the Asia markets. 333 English reduction, very powerful. Now let's get into some very simple Gematria decodes. Think about water and Manny. Water and Manny equals 67 English ordinal, 22 English reduction, 68 reverse ordinal, and then there's a little bit of difference at 32 reverse reduction and 23 reverse reduction. But again, they mirror in the reverse. Now let's look at Corridor, Rise in Japan, Labor Smart Inc., LTNC, and Locked In. They all equal 55 in reduction. So there is a cohesiveness in the energy with Gematria, expanding our empire. You know, we heard. Uh, about this and I brought up on Twitter how since we're going to Japan for this fight a green tea nootropic drink would be a good option because the Japanese you know 70% uh, of the population drinks uh, tea green tea on a on a uh, on a regular basis so I think that could be a major brand going to the next slide let's get into the Philippine and American War 1899 so in Paris, on December 10th, 1898, the United States paid Spain $20 million to annex the entire Philippine Ar Ar archipelagos. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And what annex means is really taking a land over uh, to add to your domain and to your territory. So America paid $20 million to Spain to take over the Philippines. Um, as, you might, as you might know, the 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 Philippine the native Filipinos did not like that. So after its defeat in the Spanish American War, 1898, Spain seceded its long-standing colony to the uh, of the Philippines to the U.S. in the Treaty of Paris. On February 4th, 1899, just two days before the U.S. Senate ratified the treaty, fighting broke out between American forces and Filipino nationalists led by Emilio Emilio uh, Aguinaldo who saw independence rather than a change of colonial rulers. The ensuing uh, Philippine-American War lasted three years and resulted in the deaths of over 4,200 uh, Americans and over 20,000 Filipino uh, combatants. As many as 200,000 Filipino civilians died from violence, famine, and disease. In a lot of cases, this has been the uh, forgotten war 
in American history. It really didn't get a whole lot of media. Um, in a lot of cases, I believe a lot of uh, the Americans were, you know, divided. Some believed we needed to expand our empire and have as much land as possible uh, uh, militarily. And other people, they just didn't want to be a part of it. Why are we always in wars? Why are we always fighting? But when looking at American history and how locked in has been, uh, has been building up its story, even though we're not in the military, we're still going to be taking over the world with our beverages. All right. We're still along that same line. And so what I would like to bring up is some date numerology. So on uh, February 4th, uh, 1899, which is when the, the fight started, look at the date numerology. 33, 33, days left in the year, 333 days. Zero is just a value place order, so it's still 33. Now, let's look at when the fighting stopped, all right? President Theodore Roosevelt proclaimed a general amnesty and declared the conflict over on July 4th, 1902. So that's the 4th of July, national holiday, the independence. So let's look at the, uh, the numerology of that day, July 4th, 1902. We have 32, 23, 23, 13, 13. And this is what really gets interesting. All right, look at the gematria for LTNC. We have LTNC equaling 13 in reduction, 23 in reverse reduction. You see the connection there. Our old name next level, all right? We have 23 in reduction and 31 reverse reduction. All right, remember 31 is just the reverse of 13. And you see the connection there, 23, 13, 31. Now we have locked in, also equaling 32 in reduction. Aligning perfectly with the date numerology on our day of independence, but also of the day Teddy Roosevelt proclaimed the Philippine War, American War was over. And so we have right here, Philippine uh, uh, American War, 220 English ordinal, the Philippine American War, 1,333 in English standard. We have the Japanese market, great for locked in. Philippine American War helped Coke KO. 333 in English ordinal. We also have the Coca-Cola company benefited, benefited from America's tender offer to the Philippines. Now, what's a tender offer? A tender offer usually refers to an invitation to bid for a project, and it still happens today. When larger uh, countries come into smaller countries and you know they have when they're trying to expand the empire, they usually co go to the leaders of that smaller country and say, hey, you know, we'll help build the infrastructure in this, in this land, all right? We'll create more jobs, everyone will get more money, but in return, it's usually with more control. This is the oldest thing in the book, you know? China has been doing it to Africa, America has done it to the Philippines and other territories. Great Britain did it to America before our independence in the 1700s. All right. You know, the tender offer is that, hey, we'll build out businesses so everybody can get rich. But in the end, it's usually for control. American tender offer equals 333 in reverse ordinal. USA's tender offer is for control, 133 in reduction. You could cast off the one that's 33. War is started from refused tender, 137 English reduction, which is the 33rd prime. If you don't know what the 33rd, if you don't know what prime numbers are, uh, prime numbers are numbers that can only be divisible by itself in one. So 137 is the 33rd uh, number of that caliber, caliber, very special number. The American flag follows USD tender, also equals 137 in uh, English reduction, the 33rd prime. So you, you guys are seeing the importance of this, all right? And Coca-Cola, if you didn't know, they own a lot of the waterways in uh, in, in the Philippines already. They have that locked down. They actually pushed out Pepsi not too long ago because they control that land so much. Remember, the American flag follows the U.S. dollar. That's how we expand empires. All right.
So let's get into the next slide. Jesuit Joe, who I used to call it Joe Pavlik, Coca-Cola in the Southeast Pacific influence. Now, first of all, if you guys remember when uh, Joe Pavlik first started uh, you know, doing his uh, 100 day challenge back in 2021. You know, he's very religious, he's Catholic. He's actually uh, of the Jesuit Society of Jesus Faith. And if you guys don't know, uh, it's a subsection of Catholicism. And what the Jesuits are known for is traveling to the different areas of the world, you know, and spreading the greater glory of God, which goes to ad mordrim. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, ad mordrim, de glorium. ADMG. So you actually see that on his uh, on his uh, Twitter profile as well. Very uh, powerful subsection of the Catholic faith. Uh, very influential as well. And as we see, look, Jesuit Joe equals 33 in reduction. Very powerful. And we'll get into Society of Jesus equals 56 in reduction. All right. And in a lot of cases, people don't realize a lot of the most successful companies in the world do have influence from the Society of Jesus and uh, its Jesuit leaders. Um, they've always been good in business. Um, they've always been good with money. And so when you talk about symbolism of where locked in is going now, as we cast our, our, our expansion hopes in, J in Japan, the Philippines and the Southeast Asia, I looked up, okay, who, uh, where did the first Jesuits come from uh, to go to the Philippines, right? And so in 1581, the first Jesuits from the province of Mexico arrived in the Philippines. Think about that. Who is our other newer uh, uh, sponsors, our, our, brand, uh, our brand people now? Well, we have uh, Mexican descent, uh, but they're from Texas, but from Me their Mexican descent, the Figueroa family. And so that's a little connection right there. And so they'll take in Jesuit Joe's products, you know, with uh, Mex Mexican descent sponsors, and we're going to be going to Japan with Manny and hopefully influence that whole area with our new product. So this is where I'm going with this. This is, you know, locked in, playing out the American story not too long ago, about 120 years ago. So we have Edge Merge in a day glorium locked in LTNC equals 137 in reduction, the 33rd prime. And then we have Jesuit Joe Pavlik. Figueroa family and Jesuit influence company is good. They both equal 333 in English ordinal, 135 in reduction, and 100, uh, five, uh, 450 in reverse ordinal. So three out of the four base English ciphers, they both, they all match. They both match. Very powerful. Jesuit Joe, Figueroa family, locked in, 330 English ordinal. LTNC locked in, NX Southeast Asia, locked in in Japan with Coca-Cola Company, locked in beverages is bought by Coca-Cola. They all equal 333 in English ordinal. In the bottom two, locked in in Japan with Coca-Cola Company, locked in beverages is bought by Coca-Cola equals 144 in reduction. So you're seeing the powerful uh, connections here. And again, it's I'm not going off the I'm not going off the rails. I am very resonant with the number 333 and you're seeing the connections, all right? It's easier to follow. Then what's interesting when it goes back to the Society of Jesus with 56 is from December 10, 1898 to the very first day of fighting in the Philippines was 56 days. So from when we bought the Philippines from Spain into the first fight was 56 days, goes back to the Society of Jesus Think of influence and think of when the very first day of fighting happened in 1899, February 4th, to our very first day of being able to buy product. Uh, the 4th of uh, the 1st of April 2021 was 122 years and 56 days. Very powerful. Locked in taking Jesuit Joe's products back to the Philippines via Figueroa family equals 333 in reduction. Manny Pacquiao is a Trojan horse into Jet into Japan for a locked in brand with the Coca Cola company equals 333 in reduction. Locked in brand with the Coca Cola company reclaims its dominance in the 
far and far east asia marketplace locked in brand with coca-cola company reclaims its dominance in far east asia marketplace 333 in reduction coca-cola has been struggling you know their sales of soda has been declining because people want a more healthier uh option for beverages but they have not found that successful brand yet they bought body armor for about five uh 5.6 million think about that society of jesus 56 5.6 billion dollars and it has floundered thus far so coca-cola is going to be looking for something again and i do believe in my heart it's going to be the locked in brand with their products it just makes too much sense with me it just makes too much sense to so the next slide and so the next one i want to bring up the next book i read the secret symbol the secret symbols of the dollar bill by david oves uh by david ovason and now this is where 13 comes into play this is where 13 comes into play we've talked about it at the shareholder meeting uh one of the shareholders russ he brought up he counted the the people that actually made it to the very first shareholders meeting there was 13 of us all right so keep that in mind we are under so let's talk about the the secret symbols of the dollar the 13 stars make one constellation this is all on the dollar bill if you study the dollar bill this is what pops up where's the dollar bill follow the dollar bill this is what pops up all right lots of symbolism in the dollar bill lots of symbolism the 13 stars make one constellation. The 13 letters make one motto. The 13 leaves make one olive branch. There are 13 arrows in the uh, in the eagle's hands on the dollar bill, in the eagle's talons on the dollar bill. There are 13 vertical divisions on the shield. There are 13 horizontal divisions on the shield. This is all on the dollar. This is all on the dollar right here. You can see that, all right? You can see that it's ingrained in our country ltnc equals 13 cola equals 13 coca equals 13 but also they all equal 23 in reverse reduction as well so ltnc coca cola both equal 13 in reduction and 23 in reverse reduction locked in america expand us all equal 32 in reduction our old name next level expand us next level equals 104 in uh in ordinal 23 reduction expand us equals 104 in english ordinal 32 in reduction all right and another key we were told this month about a pr the very first pr of the new year we were told it was probably coming out on friday you know we we're thinking oh friday drop friday drop no it came out a day early and i believe it was thursday on uh january 4th 2024. now i'm not saying you know management understood what they're doing but again when we're in this world a higher you know we work on a higher clock energies come through us and um symbolizes a lot of things so it couldn't have been intentional but somewhere the hidden hand within our within the management they wanted to get it out on the day of uh one four and it's by no accident because we have 13 date new numerology on those days going with ltnc all right going back to america think about the 13 original colonies of america okay and so for some more gematria decodes we have remember one dollar remember when stan used to uh say hey we're going to one dollar he would say it like that 33 in reduction expand usa 33 all right and we're going to get into 55 again we are in our pluto uh we are in our pluto age of aquarius age now so this next independence day is important because america is now reaching their pluto return 248 uh years of of being a nation all right usually when a, a nation hits their pluto return there's usually turmoil but there's also a chance for rebirth into something new. And so July 4th, 2024 
has 55 date numerology right at the top. So the next Independence Day for America for their very first Pluto return has 55 date numerology. Now let's look into the gematria. A Pluto return equals 55 in reduction. Labor Smart Inc. equals 55 in reduction. The United States equals 55 in reduction. Boston, Massachusetts, where we got our independence, where the battlefield was versus the, uh, the British back in the 1700s, 55 reduction. All right. And then also Labor Smart Inc., 55 re uh, reduction, 89 reverse reduction. The United States, 55 reduction, 89 reverse reduction. So think about it. In a lot of re retrospects, Labor Smart Inc. locked in is the United States water brand moving forward as it gets bought out by Coke, in my personal opinion. You see the design, an all-American type brand. Okay, so this is all powerful stuff. Some more great gematria. What I typed in, I typed in the abbreviations of every uh, state within the original 13 colonies, all right? So all of them, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia has historic link to LTNC locked in water and nootropic, all equals 333 in reduction. That's powerful. And then we go at the bottom again, the abbreviations of the original 13 colonies locked in, the original abbreviations of the original 13 colonies in LTNC equals they both equal 330 english ordinal 561 reverse ordinal 183 reverse reduction and 113 in chaldean gematria now chaldean is based off the scientific sound uh, vibrations of the numerology so in a lot of cases a lot of numerologists they believe that's the most uh pure type of gematria type of cipher because it's based off sounds scientifically so it's not just in order of abc equals one two three the 13 original american colonies historically link ltnc and locked in beverages 333 in reduction so at this point you're seeing the power here you're seeing it you know it's undeniable the connections here we're the all-american brand all right so that's where we're at and then even more locked in water patriot approved so back when the revolutionary war happened the our the american army was nicknamed the patriots 331 english ordinal 33 133 english reduction you see the connections here you see the connections so lockheads date with destiny all right, this is going to be the last slide for Locked In, but it's still very important. We talked about the dollar, all right? And we talked about this. We haven't talked about this round rule. And so this round rule is very esoteric and very important to America. The Great Pyramid, you know, one of the, one of the wonders of the world, it's on our dollar for a reason. And as you see here, the pyramid is truncated. It's actually, it's capped. This triangle right here is not on the, it's not, you know, attached to the pyramid. It's a truncated pyramid. And the uncapped pyramid may be a metaphor for the country, which has not yet finished at a time of its pyramid's design. All right. The American story is still being written. Okay. That's why it's truncated. And uh, truncated by definition is without its top or end section. America's still around. You know, we're going through a lot of uh, issues right now within the world. People are trying to come for our power. Is the dollar being devalued? You know, people will believe that at one point BRICS was going to do something. Was Russia going to take us out? Was China going to take us out? You know, we're in our Pluto return. So there's a lot of things going on right now, but we're still here. Truncated pyramid equals 55 in Chaldean Cairo numerology. So it goes right back to, remember, the United States, Boston, Massachusetts, 
our independence this year, 55 date numerology. All right. And so destiny is important. Destiny equals 33 reduction. Lockheads equals 33 reduction. Labor Smart Inc. equals 55 reduction. LTNC and KO's destiny equals 55 in reduction. All right. You're seeing it. You're seeing the, uh, the connections being laid out. We have lockheads equal 33 reduction, but also 33 in Chaldean. And so again, the truncated pyramid, our destiny is still being written. And if you look at the dollar bill we have in Roman numerals right at the bottom of the pyramid, 1776, we're still going, we're still going. And so for some more powerful gematria before I get into my dividend portion, of uh, my presentation today. So for the people who are who just here for the LTNC Labor Smart Inc., we're about to finish up after these uh, decodes before I get into uh, my other analysts today. And so thank you for tuning in. And if you love this, let me know uh, of your thoughts. But we have D. Arthur Turner IV, which is my full name, feels the destiny of Labor Smart Inc. locked in in the Coca-Cola company equals 333 in reduction. D. Arthur Turner IV uses Gematria to document locked in LTNC in the Coca-Cola company's destiny equals 30, 333 in English reduction. Okay. We also have destiny of America continues with LTNC and KO's worldwide expansion of great drinks equals 333 reduction. Destiny awaits labor smart locked in and lockheads as they wait for buyout by the coca-cola company 333 reduction in the last one destiny of america will continue with locked in being bought out by the coca-cola company 330 and reduction and so that's what i have for my lockheads today that's what i have for my ltnc investors my uh you know my hope my hopers my uh labor smart Inc. people. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from this section. Um, you know, I will be breaking it up in a, a different uh, video on my other channel so you can go back and revert uh, revert back to this. Um, and I believe this presentation will stand the test of time when, when we look at where we're going as a company and as we expand. And, you know, when you actually look back at what we did at the beginning, remember when the Olympics were happening in 2020, you know, the was what's was in Japan. We have uh, what was his name like Justin Gatlin, who was about to make the Olympics, who was a, a lock, a next level ambassador for a good while uh, on the sprint team. Um, so there's a lot of connections there that have been there with Japan, LTNC, trying to get the water over in uh, in Southeast Asia. And with this Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather White ha fight happening this year. I think we're going to do some big things. You know, we're about to enter that corridor and we're about to uh, change the beverage game. All right. We're not playing. Um, so that's what I have for my Labor Smart Inc. Uh, people. Uh, thank you for joining on. But now we're going to get into the dividend portfolio. All right. The Divi pack. Always positive. always positive thank you for coming on russ all right and so now into the divi pack we're going to get into that for uh people who have been following along we've been doing really well this past uh past year i had my end of the year uh, uh pr pr presentation all stocks were green you know a positive uh outcome that year but now a new year so we have to stay on that grind okay and so the last month of December 2023, we were up $65 uh, overall. Obviously, it fluctuates a good amount. Um, in January 2024, which is the current month, you know, we're in the green of $229.76. You know, we have uh, three stocks that we're down on right now, $153. Uh, but overall, we're up $75.81. As you see, we got about uh, over we got over four grand in the portfolio, and uh, right now, since I just sold SEX, which is a coal a coal producer, 
and which was a gain of uh, 50, almost 55 bucks, 40, uh, $54 and 66 cents. But for an adjusted gain of 30, uh, of 34%, almost 35%, that's our first realized gain of the year. And so that's why I have one opening in my dividend portfolio, which I decided, well, I will, I will keep 10 dividend companies within the portfolio. I have some cornerstones within the, within the portfolio that I would never sell, but I also have to have some flexibility on some companies I have to be willing to sell to get some in, to take some opportunities. But I, but I can't keep, I can't have it too large because I can't keep up with uh, all the research and whatnot. But as of right now, our, my estimated annual income for uh, 2024 is gonna be $413.21. All right, that estimated average thirty four dollars and forty three cents. Um, the annual, uh, the estimated yield for the group is going to be ten point four percent. Really high. Um, you know, people will say, "Oh man, you're a dividend yield hunter." Yes, you know, I'm still in my growth phase, but it really depends on what companies you choose. All right, are you choosing companies at the bottom? You know, that are providing opportunities. You know. And so the main driver of the high yield is UAN. It's a fertilizer company. Uh, you know, uh, it's called, it's like a nitrogen ammonia uh, fertilizer. That's not going anywhere. They have a huge dividend. So I have uh, a good amount in it. I'm down 104 bucks on that. I'm not too worried because the dividend is really good. You see L LNC at the top, Lincoln Financial, doing really well, up 114 bucks. Verizon, doing awesome right now. You know, another high dividend when I got in about 7%. We have EPD, a 7% dividend for natural gas transporter. KMI, about 7% as well. We have to have classic Coke because one day LTNC is going to be bought by them. And then we're going to get into BGS, uh, uh, B&G canned foods. Then I have O, the REIT, you know, then I have Walgreens. And so looking at it, um, Walgreens changed CEOs. They cut the dividend. Um, so I'm waiting to get a, so I'm waiting to see if they sell boots and a couple of other, uh, uh, their other businesses to get the stock price up for some capital gains. But on, on the docket, I'm looking at Walgreens to sell once it's back in profit. Um, it might do well in the long term. I do believe, you know, healthcare is still a profitable field, you know, especially in the last 20 years, you know, you can look at United Healthcare, Moderna, Pfizer, you can see what they've done. And you know they they performed really well, uh, but for what I'm trying to do with my portfolio, especially with them cutting their dividend to about four percent when I got in, I was at nine. Um, I will be looking to sell them at some point when it's in profit. I'm not too worried about it right now. It's undervalued. It's really at its bottom of its chart, so I'll just wait. I'm very patient. And so we're starting off January on an awesome note. We're starting off January on an awesome note. And so let's get into my uh, my breakdown for B and G Foods Inc. B G S. All right, it's canned food, packaged food, and uh, and, and whatnot. And so the industry is packaged food. The headquarters is uh, Pars Parsipani, Troy Hills, New Jersey. The dividend yield is uh, seven point four percent. P ratio nine point four x. Pretty decent. The debt to equity, super high, but we'll go into why it's really high. Um, you know, when you look at dividend companies, you really don't want to see uh, their debt to equity that large. You know, you like to see under two, definitely under one, even better. Um, the short interest is very high, 11.5%, uh, but that gives us some spring power. And right now, my first initial buys were in like the 150 range, but I've been continuing to buy and so my average cost per share right now is ten dollars and twenty-two cents. At the close on Friday, it was up at uh, ten thirty-one. So we're up a little under a percent. I'm not too worried. I'm really waiting to see what happens when this recession pops off, and unfortunately, when you know un unemployment affects people's purchasing power, they have to start paying back a lot of credit debt, and they're going to have to lessen and uh, cheapen what they buy to sustain themselves and package canned foods is a way to be doing it. You see the rise during the COVID era, all right? It got up to about 40 bucks during the COVID era because everybody was buying canned food. And so we could be uh, going to something similar like that again. 
I'm not saying it gets to 40 bucks, but I would like to see, you know, maybe a double up to 20. You know, I'll take 17. And so when it looks, when we talk about uh, the Gematria, BGS, Canned Foods, Pluto, and Aquarius 2024 equals 331 ordinal, 133 reduction. We have B&G Foods, BGS stock has a good year in 2024, 313 ordinal, 33, and 133 in reduction. All right. B&G likes to acquire oak orphan brands and uh, 133 reduction. And so here are the couple orphan brands that they bought that at some point nobody really wanted, but these are big names. Cream of Wheat, Green Giant, Crisco, Clabber Girl. You know, you, you see these on your shelves every day. You know, bakers love Clabber Girl. All right. That's a big baking powder brand. That's a big baking brand. Crisco, still today, my aunt, she does not make a pie without Crisco. People can say what they want. You know, obviously, vegetable oil not being the healthiest, shortening not being the healthiest. I understand that. But Crisco still has power, brand power in this world. A lot of people, they don't bake without using Crisco or Clabber Girl, especially when going into recession, baking goes up a lot higher. Bread's a lot cheaper to produce. Um, it goes a long way. And so I really do think it plays a role. They have a couple other popular brands as well. Ortega, uh, you know, the salsa brand, the Mexican product brand, the Mexican food product brand, um, very important. Green Giant Veggies, Recession Time, 331 English Ordinal. And so that's the basis of b and Foods. Now let's get into some of the, the financials of this company. And we talk about their debt and what they've done, okay? And so b and Foods, Inc., BGS, their assets on the book, $3.96 billion, almost $4 billion in assets. Their liabilities, which we'll get into, which is mostly uh, loans, is uh, 3.12 billion. So their net equity is at 140.6 uh, uh, million. They have a they have a short they have a a, a low float shares outstanding of 78.6 million shares. Okay, and so when you just base off uh, net equity fair value, when you take the net equity divided by the shares outstanding, you get uh, a, a net equity fair value of $10.69. So right now it's still trading below its fair book value. All right, so there's opportunity to be had and that's why I've been buying. In 2022, the revenue was 2.16 billion. So it's a company that's making money. Again, you see the brands they have, they're they're trapping out some good revenues okay operating expenses not too bad either all right they have uh two uh two hundred and fifteen point two four million dollars of operating expenses all right and then they have a dividend expense uh fifty nine point seven five million okay so those are the expenses they have around three hundred million but they bring in two billion a year all right and so we go back at their 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 liabilities and whatnot. Okay, where do the liabilities come from? Again, when they, when 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 B and G Foods wants to buy a company, you know, they usually take out a loan to buy it and to get them under. And you know what they're smart at? They try to get brands that they know will keep selling. So over time, it it works out. And in 2023, they got they got a they got a loan. So first. Their cash and short-term investments on hand is 359 uh, million, almost 360 million dollars in cash and short-term investments on hand. So they're very liquid. They can have any opportunity. If a big brand wants to uh, sell off one of their brands they don't want anymore, B and G Foods can come in and buy it like that because they have the money for it. All right, and they got cash from financing based on loans at uh, 300. And, 300.33 uh, 3 million, all right? 300 million in cash financing, this just happened. And so that's partly why the stock has been going down because they just got debt heavy. And so when you actually look at their filings and you add up all the uh, senior note loans collectively that uh, range from, as you see right here, 
They range from uh, being due 2025 next year, 2026 next year, 2027 and 2008. All right. So the next four years, um, it comes out to be about one second. It comes out to be about uh, two point five billion dollars in senior note loans collectively from 2025 to 2028. And realistically, the biggest one is going to be the 2028 one. I'm not too worried about the other ones. But if they really wanted to, they could almost cut out all the senior note loans uh, they have just in one good years of revenue. All right. We haven't gotten that uh, last uh, earnings report yet for 2023 because uh, their Q4 earnings report is going to come out in February. And so realistically, if they wanted to, which I know they don't want to because they like to keep the keep liquidity, um, they could they could pay off the loans. But again, they want to stay liquid because, you know, you never know when an opportunity comes comes into place when they want to uh, when they, they want to buy a brand. OK. And so uh, here's some of the numbers you can see. You know, you can go on Google on Google stocks and see this Google Analytics to see this. But uh, geometry wise, we have. Uh, BGS stock during the recession era, using debt to pay dividend is not bad. Buy BGS stock before recession in 2024. They all equal 333 in ordinal, 135 in reduction. All right. And BGS stock during recession era and using debt to pay dividend is not bad equals 171 in reverse reduction as well. All right. So the Gematria is telling us this is kind of, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy. But what I'm saying is the Gematria is saying this is an opportunity to be had. And I see that, and that's why I'm getting in it. Uh, B&G Foods makes enough to cover all loans, 137 in reduction, 33rd prime. All right, again, and when people look at this company, they see, well, they have a lot of debt on the books. Yes, but they have enough money coming in to pay off those loans, but they need the loans just in case during this recession, a bigger company can't do a product anymore. And that's when we come in. That's when this, the iron strikes, okay? And then BGS used financing to pay the dividends, 331 in ordinal. All right, and so we're getting into the last slide of the presentation. It's been about an hour. Um, and so hopefully you guys have learned a lot thus far. Um, can food consumption employment relationship during 2024 recession? I have a lot of headlines. Um, you know, they haven't officially caught a recession in two years. We've been in a bear market in the stock market. You take out the magnificent seven. All right. People have been losing their jobs. But um, let's look at some of the headlines that affect this company. Biden steel tariffs could drive up canned food price uh, prices, trade group says. So can food, uh, good food prices will be going up. That was dropped in uh, December. Um, what sells in a recession? Canned goods and condoms. Uh, they really didn't even talk about, you know, the contraceptives in that article, but definitely canned goods. You know, and this article is back from 2009 when we were in the great financial crisis. Um, so canned goods are what sells in the uh, in recessions. Americans face increased unemployment in 2024. Again, that affects purchases, especially with the shipping issues that are happening right now. Buying fresh produce sometimes isn't always the best option because it does not last. All right. It does not last. Um, then we have December payrolls unexpectedly surge as wages jump. Uh, employment remains low. And so a bit, and this is from Hedge. This is uh, from Zero Hedge. He brings up the number of full-time jobs actually plunged 1.5 million by 1.5 million in December to its lowest since February 2023. So it lost uh, 1.5 million jobs, and it seems like it's going to get worse. And so I went back into the archives. I went back into the archives of the New York Times, and I found an article written by James. J. Nagel on July 12th, 1975. Demand continues heavy in the frozen foods field. Uh, and the article name is Recession Changes Public Public's Food Choices. Recession Changes Public Foods Choices. Demand continues heavy in the frozen food uh, field for orange concentrate, 
large size vegetables, think of uh, the green giant, and poly bags, pizza, hamburger, and cheaper meat cuts in frozen potato prod, uh, products was found. The EDW Williams, publisher of Quick Foods Frozen Foods, confirmed that there is a continuing demand for many frozen convenience foods and that lately several commodities that go into making of such foods have come down in price. This includes flour, cooking oil, margarine, tuna, eggs, and rice. So we got to be looking at the cooking oils, Crisco. All right. And so here's some gematria in regards to this. Unemployment helps canned foods. Clabber Girl and Crisco, recession-proof, canned food in demand while in a recession, all equal 333 in English ordinal. Best pies with Crisco, 222 English ordinal. Best pies with Crisco and Clabber Girl, 330 English ordinal, 33. Then we have Clabber Girl recession revenue, 133 reduction. Baking is mostly recession proof, 137 and reduction, the 33rd prime. So as we should have a tumultuous 2024, there's an opportunity here with this stock, BGS, uh, B&G Foods, to make some money, all right? I'm not necessarily sure what it could go uh, price-wise, but you know it's right at its fair value, right under it. So you're getting a discount and we see the chart from the past, all right? It, during COVID, it got to the 40s, all right? Even got a little bit higher in 2016 when we have some issues. So these things are all possible, especially when it has a low float. And BlackRock owns about 7% of the company, all right? So these are things you need to take in mind. If you're interested in, uh, in B&G Foods, take a look at it. I'm in it um, and, and whatnot. But um, if anyone has any questions, let me know in the chat section. Uh, but make sure you like, you subscribe, um, you know, you check out all my links and, and try to help the channel out. You know, I love doing this for you guys. Um, it helps me out, learn a lot more as I research. And I know it helps a lot of people out. I get a lot of messages and whatnot. So make sure you hit me with this uh, a subscription. Uh, check out my links. Uh, my Patreon, um, I'm coming out, you know, at the end of the month with another great documentary, sports documentary of the month. It's talking about the Revolutionary War, um, the American portion to it. And so this all kind of comes in line. This is why I love the cohesiveness of what I've been doing synchronistically. And I really fully believe in the end uh, that LTNC locked in. We're going to have a, a great future. And so if nobody has any questions, um, I just want to thank you for your time. Art Turner. Data Productions Media, Dreams Are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence. I love you all. You guys have a good Sunday. Watch some football, and we're back at it tomorrow, Monday, in the uh, stock market. So uh, peace, and I'll see you guys at the end of February.